Hey guys, so thank you for watching my third video about the IELTS examination. I think this is gonna be the final um, video about the IELTS. So I want to talk about the speaking part and I feel really frustrated about the speaking part because you know even though I scored 8.5 on my first try, I got 7.0 on my second try. So how come that per how come can one person who got 8.5, you know, get 7.0? Okay, it's Pretty subjective. That's my opinion, really. Okay, but I got 8.0 on my third try, so I got really relieved. But uh, well, I think subjectivity is there. Okay, when taking the speaking part. Okay, but first of all, uh, I want you to sort of recognize that there is no um, criteria uh, such as a task response in a speaking part, which means that you don't really need to answer the question. Okay, so that's what I feel about it because there is no such criteria. So, well, it's pretty obvious that you don't really need to answer the question correctly. So, on my first try, I didn't really prepare for the speaking part. You know, I was confident, uh, you know, as to my speaking ability, but I didn't have a lot of time, and so I couldn't really prepare in particular for the IELTS examination. And, well, but what I, you know, decided to do was to make it a rule to sort of speak all the time even if it's you know just shooting around the bush so for instance I was asked such a question as um, uh, what is your favorite color so this is uh, one of the typical questions of the IELTS speaking part right and uh, what I said was well I like blue because uh, for instance when I'm wearing blue clothes I feel pretty much like concentrated on things that I'm doing and what else and I also said that after that well I think colors are really important uh, from the perspective of my academic discipline which is accounting well well in my research I focus on for instance the uh, external purposes of uh, financial statements that are issued by uh, various companies and you know many companies actually take a lot of strategies as marketing and the colors are often important in order to affect the minds of customers or well, you know I said this kind of stuff but this is totally a bullshit right so I was all the time shooting the shit, you know, digressing from the topic. I didn't really answer the question. Well, I to some extent answered because, you know, you know, at the beginning I said, well, I like blue. But after that, what I did was shooting the shit all the time. And I was stopped like six times, you know, during the speaking part. And the examiner uh, looked a little bit bored, but, uh, well, I could get 8.5, you know, in the speaking part. So on my second try, and what I did was exactly the same thing, like shooting around the bush all the time. For instance, in the third part, okay, the examiner asked me, so what sort of effect do you think an increase in the number of tourists would uh, have on, for instance, people in that country? And I couldn't really come up with a good ideas, okay, for it. So I decided to answer, okay, using what I think as the effect, okay, on the country, not on people. So what I said was, well, I think there are many effects, okay, that can be observed, okay, but uh, for instance, I think, well, the economic level of the particular country would be, I think, positively affected by an increase in the number of tourists because, well, an increase in the number of tourists mean um, means that well there will be like higher revenues from the tourism sector and that's for instance the real GDP would increase and by the way you know this index is calculated this way blah 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 and then examiner stopped me and then said that okay but what I'm asking is not an effect on a country but on people okay so she um, she decided to sort of stop me and then well require me to sort of answer okay towards a question appropriately okay but there is no such a criterion okay in the speaking part okay you can all the time shoot a shit well it's really up to the examiner okay regarding like when to stop but well the examiner didn't even try to listen to my answer, okay, which was irrelevant, okay, towards a question. 
And then I got 7.0 even though I scored 8.5 on my first try. And on the third try, I did the same thing again. Well, for instance, I read the report, you know, about a, a relationship between the number of, you know, Facebook users and, you know, for instance, their, for instance, stress levels or things like that. Well, I've never read such a report, but I, you know, made things up and, you know, I was all the time, you know, shooting shit, uh, which is, you know, sort of irrelevant towards, you know, the question. But uh, I scored 8.0 again. So there was a, you know, one band difference between my, you know, second score and third score. So what I can think here is, you know, talking all the time, even if, you know, your answer is irrelevant towards your question, will definitely work. But sometimes, you know, the subjectivity of the examiner affects your score, unfortunately. So that's what I really hate, okay, about this IELTS examination. But a strategy you should take would be talking all the time, even if, okay, your answer is not answering the question, okay, because there is no such a criterion in the speaking part, which is totally different, okay, to the writing part of the IELTS. In the writing part, you got to appropriately answer the question, but in the speaking part, you don't need to. You just need to show off your, you know, speaking ability, speaking all the time with a good pronunciation, fluency, okay? So, well, I reckon, well, this strategy will definitely help you get a good score in the speaking part, but I think you should take the examination like at different places, like two times consecutively or things like that, you know, after preparing pretty much, because otherwise, you know, there is a possibility that you have to face uh, a really, really strict um, examiner. So I think, you know, that's one of the tactics you can take in order to secure your score. Okay, so thank you for watching my last video about the IELTS examination. So, well, that's all about it. So good luck with the exam. Okay, see you next time. Bye-bye.